But I'll eat ground, I'll eat winning by my fellow Transformer fans. Monkey here for a chunner of all things. I was on, I was wondering what to do, actually, uh, to be honest. I was a little bit stuck on what I wanted to do. Uh, I wanted to cover over, I was wondering how I went to do helicopters. Or the ones that I've got and things that I've noticed about them, things like that. And then uh, I was going to go over Tidal Wave, you know, Armada Tidal Wave. Um, I thought, no, not really. And I thought, you know what, I'll just do lots of different things and just chunner about stuff. Um, and tell you what's going on. Um, so, last weekend, last weekend was our anniversary, my, my, my wife's anniversary, it was our 11th. And um, we went and spent the day in Manchester and chilled out, took her to, there was a comic book uh, fair, so I went down with her. Now, Caroline has a problem with reading. Uh, not reading. <laughs> She's great with reading. She's faster than me. It's unreal. Um, she reads like Arnie does in Twins. It's sick. She has a problem with reading comics and how they're laid out and stuff. And I think it's because of the stories. I mean, what I deal with is bots and Wonder Woman and very little else, really. But uh, I have the odd one of different things now and again. But we went to this comic fair in a, in a view of just getting Carol some comics. And in fact, I didn't buy any comics that day for myself. Um, but we had a little look, look around and she found some a couple of comics. Then we went to Travelling Man. And we spoke to the guy there who, who runs that place. And I explained, you know, what she likes. Um, and she'd like to start reading graphic novels kind of thing. So he got an armchair out, put it somewhere in the court, in this plate on the shop floor cleared every round around her and went right you sit there and he walked around the shop picked up some books and brought them back to her and she went right take your time go through them wherever you like put to one side leave the rest don't worry I'll put it away for you he was such a nice guy it was a really really nice thing to do and Carol picked out about three books and she started read she's finished reading one already so um yeah, it was really nice. So we had a we had a good day. We went to a cafe cafe um, across the road from Forbidden Planet. It's really nice there. And uh, went up to Haberdashery shop, gets a look at some material for Carol. She she makes these these clothes and stuff. She makes all kinds of stuff. Um, actually, here's an example. Um, she makes this. Uh, this is uh, Grimlock, as you know. Uh, but this is the, the apron. She's made an apron for him because this is the Argos. Um, Grimlock so it comes with um, so it doesn't come with the apron and the bow tie and the tray and all that there is a bow tie in here this is the um, is the bow tie um, and this is the prototype so uh, what we did what she did was she set it up like that and then we just stick the bow tie in there but it's a bit too big and clunky to put in there so what Caroline's going to do with any more, if she makes any more, is sew them onto the top here of the of the uh, the apron, so it's like that. So, uh, oh, there we go. So it's it's going to be like that basically. And um, but yeah, I mean, she made all this. So she got a little pocket at the front, and um, like double stitching, sound of the hems. So if anyone wants one. Give us a shout. Um, do them for a... Uh, how she say? A fiver? They said a fiver. Do you know what? I'll put the price down here. How much she put it down for? So I've got Smart Robin. And uh, this is a little heads up to... Uh, or a little nod to um, Vigadeth. Thank you, sir. Um, I, I wanted to get it anyway. Um, and Bigger Deaths, not last video, I think it was his video before, he was talking about his Smart Robin and how it's gone down to 50 quid on um, Kapow Toys. So, and it's still available, £50, so it's well worth it. I'll do a review on it, I'll just, I'll just order some repro labels for it uh, and a couple of other little things. So, um, I, as soon as I get them, I'll do a review. But yeah, thanks, uh, thanks, Vigadeth, for bringing that up for me. Um, uh, 
I got a message from our mate Razatron, John, fellow host, co-host on uh, Iconic Reviews. He had his wisdom tea took out last week, so he's a bit poorly. So um, get well soon, brother. And um, I will see you. Ho hopefully, I'll speak to you next week. Because next week we're just finishing off. We've just been doing loads of recording for Iconic Reviews, and um, we've just done Ramjet. That is now Spotlight Ramjet is on Iconic Reviews now, and it was the first one. Yeah, I think it was. Yeah, it was the first one that Luke has edited himself. So um, and it's it's a good job, man. So uh, listen to. Um, Luke's first editing of his of a show, and um, we've just had um, the underbase and uh, did a did a recording for Galvatron Spotlight Galvatron for us. So there, um, we're just going to get hold of that and put that up this week, the, uh, this coming week. That will come up Spotlight Galvatron, hosted by other people, and uh, Optimus Prime Spotlight Optimus Prime. Blaster, um, Blasters. We do. We're actually recording this coming week, and uh, hopefully it'll be Jake Broster. We're coming on for that, which is cool. Um, and we've just done RC recorded on Friday. Just gone um, RC with Grufflock, which is awesome. It was a good. It was a good show, man. It was. Uh, it was funny, man. He brought the chaos and the craziness, and it was. It was good times. So yeah, um, so all these will be coming out in the next couple of weeks, um, and then that builds us up to the week before AA. Um, the week before AA, we're going to do a recording, and just the four of us, and we're just going to talk about um, AA in general, what we found about it, our, our feelings on it, our experiences with it, and uh, what we're hoping for this this AA. Um, AA. Obviously, it begins eighth uh, of August till the tenth, Friday the eighth of August till Sunday the tenth of August, and it's at the Hilton Metropole in Birmingham. And uh, basically, just go to the Auto uh, Assembly website; it'll tell you everything you need to know about it. There's loads of people going, and it'll be awesome. And it'll be nice to meet. I'm more. Let's talk about let's talk about AA because this is lots of replies to people you know AA um, even though it's nice that actors come over I think it's great but personally um, I'm more for the surprise surprise the artists and the writers um, I like meeting them and speaking to them and um, last year we had uh, we went to record with Andrew Griffith but he was so busy and I said to him, I didn't want to play. He was supposed, he's supposed to be there for a good time as well, you know what I mean? So um, I left it. I said to Rob, I said, look, you know, let's leave it. You know, he's, he's the guy's busy. He's been ram raided by everyone. We'll leave it. So I spoke to him. I said, I hope you don't mind. He said, no, no, that's actually brilliant. Um, so he's just got, so it's just so he can have some fun. He's just been running around doing all kinds of stuff. Everyone was actually, all the guests were. So I thought we'd leave it last year. We might not even interview anyone this year. Um, we've not heard anything from anyone, so we're going to assume that we're not interviewing anyone. But, but, um, we will be doing a fans interview. Now, last year we had Emma, Martin and Simon on on the recording. And it was just Sunday morning. Um, and we just... Sat down with a couple of people and said, "Hey, you know, we had breakfast with them." I said, "Hey, do you mind if we sit down?" Got chatting and stuff, and I says, "Look, we're doing a recording for fans, people who don't do podcasting, who don't do YouTube or anything like that. You know, who watch the videos and listen to podcasts and things like that, and go, you know, and they may want to say something." So they came on. We sat around the city, uh, sat around the table, and it was awesome. It was it was it was a really good time, and um, hope to see you again, guys. Um, Especially you, Simon. I'd love to see you. Because I mean, this this last year has been uh, quite uh, quite a move around for you. I'd love to see how you are. You know, so I'd like to see them. I'd love to see more of you, though. Come on, if you want to come on, we're going to ask, be throwing out questions for you. So, you know, how you feel about it? What's your favourite things about it? What have you enjoyed so far? What you're looking forward to? 
things like that. We'll be asking you all kinds of questions. Rob, this year, is going to be hosting it. Because last year he was a bit delicate, you see. Whereas me, I took over. You know. But this year, it's Rob's time. It's Rob, Rob. Fall in 835. But, uh, yeah. So, Sunday morning, which will be the 10th, we'll have our breakfast. And uh, we'll go around and see if anyone wants to do a recording. Join in for that one. Uh, but, yeah, about to where I was talking about the guests... Because I, I go, I, I tend to go on a tangent. Sorry. Like I said, actors. Yeah, it's nice to meet them. Hi, and all that. But it, art, artists and authors, definitely. Colorists. Um, it's going to be good. Some good times. Uh, so I think Sarah Stone's there this year, which is amazing. Um, Collier. Uh, Levio Levio's down this year and Flint Dilly I'd love to get hold of them because we were supposed to be getting them on on um, Iconic Reviews which they're happy to do um, but obviously they're very busy at the moment so we're just going to try and get it in when we can um, that'll be awesome we, we probably won't get it for AI they're, they'll be too busy Dave's got hold of them <laughs> Kal-El Prime he's, <laughs> he's got hold of them and he's not letting anyone near them so we're not we can't touch them for AA. So uh, hopefully we'll be able to get them on a later date though. It's very academic reviews, um, which would be awesome. Um, and it'd be great to see our fellow YouTubers, brothers and sisters in arms, um, and just talking about all kinds of shit, which would be awesome. Um, I'm not going to name anyone because then you have to name everyone, and I can't do that. Um, but this year will be the first year. Where all four of us uh, are, are together as Iconic Reviews. Uh, last year we met Luke and Raz. Um, and we've been on Skype prior to that with, with Raz. Well, last year we met Luke and Rob basically reached out to him and got him on the show. So it's going to be the four of us officially, met official hosts of Iconic Reviews, the four of us. It'll be, it'll be some good times. Hopefully there'll be a panel. And then we can get on um, and help anyone that needs any help. Please, everyone's been saying it. It's totally true. Come and see us. If you see us chatting away, join us. Join us for a beer or a soda. Some pop, as I like to call it up here. Everyone on the videos um, comes out with the rules of what you're supposed to be doing, what you're not supposed to be doing. A, 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 like a little guide. I did one last year. Um, if I can think of a better way of doing one, I'll do a video. Do's and don'ts of AA. I'm not going to come across them here. Um, suffice to say, anyone who's anyone, pop down. Ian did it last year, Airlift 82. Um, I shook his hand and basically he was awesome. It was really nice to meet him. And we, I made sure... That he was he was always welcome with us and he was part of the the group, you know? And that's what you should do. Definitely. You see someone who looks a little nervous. I'm sorry Ian for picking you out, mate. <laughs> but he was top bloke, top bloke. And I watch his videos now. And um yeah, nice guy. And I'll be like, be good, be good to see you again, Ian. But yeah, you, you know, you, you we'll definitely look out for people who look a bit alone. Come on, over here. You know, we'll give you a shout. Come over. But, yeah, sit down. Have a chat with us. And, um, yeah, it's going to be good times. I'm going to be doing my usual thing of, you know, sausage butties wrapped up <laughs> for lunch. Saving money any way I can, really. Uh, this year, the list. Yeah, I've got quite... Um, I've got a good list, actually. It's a bit more focused on what I want. Because... Uh, past two previous years it's been like blah, 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 blah. this year it's more of getting a lot of primes R.I.D. Uh, Galaxy Prime uh, the original R.I.D. Prime you know Firetruck Prime uh, Galaxy Prime um, lot of, quite a few G2, uh, G1 two, G actually I was looking for I want to be looking for uh, Technobots Terracons and a Dinobot I can't get all five Dinobots in one one year, so I'm gonna get one. Um, I want to get code, fans projects uh, code. You know to go with this one. So 
That would be cool. Uh, what else? Uh, I'd like a shockwave. I see what the price is. Um, if it's expensive, I'll just get the knockoff. Same with reflector. I'll just go and order the knockoff one. Um, and Insecticons. Do you want Insecticons? And what else? Then little bits like I need Menosaur's car stroke chest. I need uh, Beast Wars Megatron with his missiles, hit missiles. You know, little things like that. Inferno's leg stroke missiles. God, I've been getting looking for them since I bought him. Um, but yeah, lots of lots of lots of little things, little bits and stuff. So it's um, yeah, I'll put that and the bits I'll be going for first. Then I look for deals for the rest of it. I'm just looking at having a good time. I've got a big bottle of uh, Jack Daniels honey. I'm going to be taking with me cans of Coke. It's going to be good times. Absolutely. Lee. Damn you hussies. Um, to those of you who don't know, there's a wonderful, wonderful person called Lee who... Um, had he comes on and he has he just has a wonderful way of words and he talks to you and just feels feels natural and it all comes from the heart you know what he says and um a few months back he had an accident a bike accident and uh, you know he was mountain biking and he literally fell i think he fell off a cliff <laughs> pretty much and broke uh, quite a few bones and uh, he's been on the med for a while now. Um, but last week he, he came on with a video and it was lovely to see him again. He's took got rid of the beard. But um, yeah, he come back on and he seemed a bit low. And I messaged him and stuff and, you know, I hoped he was okay. And I've asked him, I'd love to get him on uh, Iconic Reviews. Because he, he listens to the show, which is really cool. But I'd love to get him on just to pick his brains about stuff. You know, he's just... He delves into things. He'll pick up a little GoBot and just go on and do a show on the GoBot. And the way he does it, it's just fantastic. So it's all, it's damn you hussies. Hussies, H-U-S-S-I-E-S. All one word. You'll find them on YouTube. And, um, yeah. It's just, uh, he, he's got he's got a lot of knowledge. And because uh, he lives in Australia, so his... Australia is like Europe. <laughs> we get the shit ends of the stick basically when it comes to Hasbro sending over Transformers to us. We don't get the the good shit. We always get the crap. Um, but uh, yeah, so it was good. It was good to see him. But like I said, he was a bit down. Or I messaged him, but we'll keep in contact. Lee, I hope you feel better soon. Um, get on the men, son. Get back on. I think um, he was asking about himself about why he does it and why he's lost interest. And that's what happens, I think, as well, because this is also a response to him and to Vigadeth about why we don't go on, why we lose interest and stuff. And I think, basically, when you've stopped doing it, you, I think the reason why, I can only speak for myself, right? Why do I do it? I do it because I love Transformers. I do it because I want to speak my mind about things. And it's not really... It's not really to appease anyone but myself. Um, the bonus that a handful of people like it is really cool. And I think it's because when you stop doing a video for a while... You tend to get used to not getting any responses because you're not doing any videos, you're not getting any responses. So I think you get used to it. So when you put a video out, honestly, guys, I don't get lots of you know responses. I get a couple, and what I get, I try and re respond to you in some form or fashion. You know, thanks, or you know. Or, reply in full, you know, there's something I need to say, I feel like, I don't want to force anything, you know, so, uh, but I do reply in some way, tears, uh, totally, 
I, I do I do like that. And it's not really for gratification either. It's um it's just something I want to do. I suppose it's self gratification. As a as a as I suppose. Um but the YouTube thing, personally for me, the YouTube thing kind of fuels the Transformers thing. But if I stopped YouTubing, I wouldn't stop Transformers. Because I've still got podcasts and Skype and things, and I just talk to people anyway and keep in the community. We have the Transformers uh, YouTube community page as well. And I keep on touch with that, what's going on there. I mean, this week has been, uh, you know, bots doing normal chores. I haven't done anything, to be honest. I haven't felt any inspiration to do any photos. You know, so um, I did a few and, and I've thrown them up in the past, but I just don't feel, I don't, I don't know what to do, really. It's a bit stuck on that. But the YouTube thing, um, yeah, I think it's when we've not done it for a while, we get used to not doing it for a while. But once we come back to it, we get back into it, and we do a few. Um, I mean, at the moment, I'm using the wife's computer, and I have to unplug it and bring it up, which isn't a chore. That's not a chore at all. But it's the fact of bringing it up. And the th I fell the other day doing a podcast and I'm bringing the computer up and it was like oh shit you know and moved it out of the way and dump <laughs> me edit the, me edit the stairs my face took the brunt you know but the computer was okay but it's the thought of moving the computer around so maybe the latest year I get a little bonus for doing 10 years at my work so I'm going to use that and get, get myself a laptop um, and just keep it stationed here at all times so I don't have to move it you know uh, but yeah uh, it's just lots of little things things like doing this I, I feel nervous not nervous but I'm very much aware that I have to be very careful when I'm moving this up and down stairs you know don't want to break it um, and like I say it's it's just getting things out and I'm not going to go out and say things for the sake of saying them. I haven't been on for a while. Because I've got nothing to say. I can't think of anything. Apart from what I feel about Superman. Man of Steel. I, fucking, I watch it and. That's another conversation. But yeah I've got nothing to say. You know. And and people don't respond. Because we don't talk about the meaty shit. These days. Because there's nothing to talk about really. Except for. Collecting in general. And so, hence why I was thinking about doing about talking about helicopters and stuff, and you know. But um, again, that's another conversation. So yeah, it's it's more of you get used to not act being active on YouTube, very much so. So, so that's why I th that's why I have been doing it for a while. Um, I'm not one of those people that go, oh, I'm sorry, I've been, you know, I've been on for a while, bless that, blah, 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 been doing this, that, and the other. Um, you guys don't care. You want to see me do a bot or talk about bots or, you know, do a song or a dance or something, you know? So that's what I'll do. Or chun it, like I'm doing now. <sighs> My beard's getting long. Um, I always have a smile on my face when I watch Dave. Smizno. Always puts a smile on my face. It's always good to see him. He makes me giggle. Carol loves him. Um, I'm sorry to hear about um, Ed. Not coming away, eh? And I'm sorry to hear about Rob. Uh, Prey King 79, not coming. You guys will be missed. Um, this year as well, I've been feeling it about people not getting rooms, um, which again is another shame thing. I, just, I don't want to point the blame at anyone, but I, I felt there was things that were happening in the background. Um, just messages from things, and we were like waiting for confirmations. To go and get, so we could go and get the rooms. And I thought, you know what, I'll just take it upon myself. I work for a company that does uh, rail flights and hotels for 
businesses. And uh, so I just took it upon myself just to ring in in house reservations at the Hilton. And I rung them about December, I think. I just said hi. Um, told them where I work, who I work with, and because uh, then I, it's like an in it's an in house thing. So you you know, um, and I said to them, I said look, we've been waiting for confirmations for auto assembly, and we're not we haven't got them yet. But can I? get me room so I got myself a single room I think I think it was December I'm sure it was so but I'm there um, and, and people are stuck man I, I, I don't I don't want to get a double I'll tell you why because I snore I snore I'm an ex-soldier I'm used to sleeping with people but to put the weight on and stuff I just snore now you won't get any sleep you don't want to sleep with me I'm telling you now you don't want to sleep in the same room as me. You don't want to sleep in a room next to my room. So I'm a snorer, yeah. So, um, but shame, man. People are not getting these rooms, man. It sucks, sucks ass. And then there's other people who could get it and can't because the skin and stuff and life's got in the way. It's such a shame. These people are not coming. But then, uh, like people like Gerard, Gerard are coming this year. I've I've mentioned it before, you know, Wolfgang. Wolfgang won. And Wolfgang, the band, is coming this year, which is going to be awesome, put the sauce. Because the, I was really let down with the karaoke. The karaoke was there, people were turning up, but because Swer- it was it was, pla- it was placed at Swerves, and Swerves was down the hall, I mean, way down the hall. And everyone was congregating around the lobby. And there was the problem, you see. So it was very much split up. Loads and loads of people were at the uh, were at the lobby, chilling out, and then there was a few of us still at Swerves on the karaoke. So hopefully this year it's going to be a different picture. It's going to be you know, with Wolfgang there, we'll be uh, dancing away and singing along with the songs. It'd be good. I think everyone's covered the most important thing, which is people, the the people, the fans, the 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 geeks like me we're all in the same boat and that's where the camaraderie comes from because that's what it is at the end of the day camaraderie we all have a uh, a th- uh, something in common we have this common goal and our love for transformers whether you're a beast or a truck you're um, we all love transformers in some form or fashion I didn't know what to say when I put on the camera, really. I made a couple of points about iconic reviews. And that was it. I didn't know what else to say. But it's good that I'm just spilling it out. Fans. I... I um, this year... I'm going to go over stuff that you're going to be sucking eggs on. Sorry. As probably all of you, all of you know, it's thirty years this year. Transformers came out, and this year we've been all excited about it, building up to it. Last year, AA last year was a was, I was excited for this year, and um, as I'm getting near to it now, I'm starting to realise things, and even earlier this year, and it covers over. All depends on one thing. Uh, let me let me explain what I'm going at with this. Thirty years, and so we're celebrating Transformers in every shape or form, which is what Transformers is all about: change, different things. Every show is different, yet the same. Prime always dies. <laughs> um, there's always a Megatron. And there's always some kind of optimus. Um, but there's certain things that people don't like. And um, without going too much into it, the movies. I'm a, I like the first one. I still get a little giddy over the scene where the A-10s get 
set up, ready to go, and that C130 with uh, the 50 caliber starts shooting down on Scorpionock. I think it's awesome. I love that bit. But it's a bit with the military and not the Transformers, I'm afraid. And there's the problem. And I don't want to go too much into the problems and issues with Michael Bay. Suffice to say, Michael Bay has burnt his last ship with me from the third one. And I am not interested, nor have I ever been interested, in watching Transformers 4. However, I do recognise it as a, uh, something to help us as a community. Um, the film brings money to Hasbro in some way. I'm not clever. I'm not a businessman. I'm not a lawyer. I don't know how it works. But I know that Hasbro will get a shit ton of money to this. Every film, they've had a shit ton of money. And it keeps Transformers going. And it's a necessary... For me, it's a necessary evil. I get that. Um, and I don't hate them because they're bad Transformer films. I hate them because they're bad films. I, I love film. I have lots of... Diff I have I'm an eclectic taste... For music and film, um, so I'm not. I wasn't asking for. I don't ask for a, a, some kind of cerebral film when it comes to Transformers. I'm not asking for something James Roberts would write. But I am not. I don't want a film where you know the old thing of I'd like to go and see a movie and take my brain out. The, the last two films that I watched, the last two Transformers films, makes me brain want to jump back in, just so I can go, come on, that's bullshit. You know? So, that's, uh, it, it burned its last bridge for me. The last one. Um, can't do it. I can't do it. So, I'm not going to be watching it. But, the point that I'm getting at with this, uh, 30 years kind of hung on the film whether it's going to be a success this year for Hasbro can you feel it you know how they changed it earlier this year or was it the end of last year when they changed all the labels and they changed all the pro products and stuff and went we're going to have a set thing here from 5 to 12 or something and then 12 to 16 and 16 to adult and all that crap I'm going to have this, this and this, you know, uh, generations and and movies and they're all sectioned down to age groups and stuff. And I thought, and the, 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 they were planning it around the film as well. Now, that's all well and good and I was up for that. Um, I was, ex, you know, a little bit excited. I, I, I thought, oh Jesus, the, the, we could, I could see it from the beginning that we're going to get less generations because of it. And at the moment, we've only had one setback with Waves. And I've still got the Rat Trap, so it's not all of it yet. So it's, not, it's not a major down thing yet. And I don't keep my eye open or my ear to the ground on what's going on with products with Hasbro, what's coming out and that. A lot of you guys probably know a lot more than I do. I just hear what people tell me. And... Um, it's the thing of the, the movies. This is where I'm getting at. This movie. I have a few YouTube channels that I watch when it comes to movie reviews. Uh, one of them is Jeremy Jans. Uh, Chris Stuckman. Flickster. Or the Flick Pick. Um, and then there's uh, another another couple of guys that I, I do. I can't remember what they're called. It's a new channel theirs now. They used to have an old channel. It's a new channel now they have. Anyway, and all of them have had negative reviews. Um, I think it was the first one this year for Jeremy Jans where he says bullshit. Hor horse shit, that's what he, what's he call it. Dog shit, that's what he calls it. You have dog shit. Uh, great if you're drunk. Um, you'll forget it in T minus how many minutes or hours or days. 
uh, then you got uh, Blu-ray, and then Awesome, Awesome Tacular or something like that. And he gave it dog shit. And then Chris Stuckman gave it a, a D minus, which is I think he's his lowest one. Uh, Flickster gave it a C, where it was something he wasn't expecting to be brilliant. Um, and I tend to not. I tend to uh, those guys pretty much have it on on par for me. They, what they say, I've wa I watch the films anyway normally, and they go, "Yeah, you're right. That was good, or that was okay, or that was you know." And I agree with every single one of them. And they're all different types. Jeremy Jans is the more of the mediocre guy. He likes popcorn and he likes satire and things like that. Chris Stuckman is more of a satire kind of guy. He's, he's more cerebral. And Flickster is more of like, you know, cheesy B-movie action films as well. He's more to that way. But they all pretty much have the similar level of what's good and what's not. Um, so when they all, come, all three of them come out with, you know, that shit. Tends to te tell me the, the message I thought it would be. Yeah, it's going to be shit. I'm not going to waste my time at the cinema watching it. Um, but I know for a fact it'll make money, which is good. Good for the good for the, good for Transformers. Good for Hasbro. Good for me, because that means more bots will come out. Um, but I reckon it. Oh, I hope to. You know what? We're gonna see these bots for a long time, aren't we? <laughs> and we're not gonna see much else of anything else. So I don't know. Um, I think that's it, really. I think that's all I need to say. Thanks. Uh, if you're still here, thanks for sticking around. Let me speak my thoughts. Uh, oh, there was one thing. Uh, there was the the movie thing because it was involved with the auto assembly. I think it comes out. I don't think it's out now, is it? I don't know. I don't care when it's out. But I think it'll affect. I think it will still have a lasting effect on this year. Whether this year is going to be a success of Transformers or not. There it goes. Anyway, um, thanks for watching. I will be doing a, a review. I don't know what to do though. I want to talk about helicopters. I don't have loads. Well, you know, I've got uh, got quite a good collection actually. But um, I've got a few helicopters. I want to talk about helicopters. Um, or I want to do a tidal wave. I'm out of tidal wave. Um, or if I get the stickers, I'll do this. Um, what, what would you like me to do? Comment at the bottom. Um, if you like me and you want to see more of me, why? <laughs> Subscribe at the bottom. Um, comment if you want to see uh, me talk about helicopters. Or if you want me to talk about Tidal Wave. And I'll do the one that's got the most. So until next time, I'm hoping next week, I have something better to say. Take care of yourselves and each other. Be good. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.